Excel and Time. All right, the first thing I want to do is to grab the Forms button, the Forms menu here. All right, I'm going to draw a square. and color it in. Now when I put in a group box I'm going to list it as days. Now I'm going to go back to the forms menu and put in one option button which I will put in with some color and then put a line round it and I shall call it yesterday. Now I'm going to put in another one of these Again, I shall add some color. Put a line round it, and I'll call this one today. And finally, I'll put in a third one of these. Which I shall put in some color. Put a line round and I shall call this tomorrow. OK, there are my three boxes. I only need to put in information about one. So I click on to the right hand mouse button and again attempt 3D shading not that it works but I'll try it anyway and now I'm going to link the cell I'm linking this yellow box with it okay I'll go back now because I've linked one box with it all three boxes are linked with it and if I click onto it here you'll see that one comes up. When I click onto here, two comes up and three come up. Now what I'm interested in is time. If I write in here one, then I can go up to Format, click onto Cells, and no, this has come up. Let's try again. One, Format, Cells, and this time the proper one has come up and you can see I've got number there if I go down to date choose the 14th of March 2001 and now you see that 1 January 1900 comes up here now what you have got to understand is that for XL time started on the 1st of January 1900. After that, every number equals one, every day equals one number on here. So if I change, go back here by going Control Z and undoing it and writing here 2, then what this changes to when I go to Format, Cells, Number, Date, 14th of March, the 2nd of January 200, 1900. Each day represents each number represents a day since 1900. Okay, bearing that in mind, I now need to go to here. 
Now, I need to put in a, a function in this box to link it up to here. So I put a cursor there and go up to FX and I choose choose. I get this from going to all, clicking down onto one of these numbers and then choosing C. And if I ch keep clicking onto there, I get down to choose. Now the first thing that I'm choosing is the index number and that is this one here. Which one is it linking to? The second one here is a formula for today. Now. And I'm putting now open bracket, close bracket for today. Now open bracket, close bracket, plus one. So if now equals today, then now minus y equals yesterday and now plus open bracket close bracket plus one equals tomorrow okay so when I click one of these uh, I've actually not put in the right formula click into it again let's come up again so instead of now open bracket close bracket I put in now open bracket and a zero so I've gone back and done it again now today equals 8th of December and tomorrow equals the 9th of December okay let's look at that again <laughs> equals now open bracket close bracket if I click on it you'll see that it comes up as today's date and the time. If I go in and put another formula in equals today open bracket close bracket no spaces straight after it and I press enter and I come up with that. The day without the time. So I've got two functions there. Let me put it here. Question mark equals now open bracket close bracket close quotation marks or equals equals today open bracket close bracket quotation marks so I can put these things in this one equals that one that one equals that one if I put these inside quotation marks then they won't work out as these have done. Alright, let's go up here. Now I've got here a list of people and here I've got the number of days since January the 1st. January the 1st 1900. So I'm going to come, come down here and I'm going to try out there are the numbers going from 27,000 24,000, 22,000. Alright, I'm going to look now at format and conditional formatting. So the first one I'm going to say is between 21,000 and 26,000. I'll put in some sort of colour for that. I'll say that one there. Right, the font. Okay. Now I'll add another one if that was at 21 to 26 now this one I'll go 26 001 to 30 format font will be that one 
the pattern will be that one and now I'll add the last one you can only put in three so I'll go 30,000 along to 50 thousand and I'll set the format which will be this one the font is going to be bold and black and now if I look at that I've got three if I OK that now you can see it's set up the different ages of these students of course these numbers need to be changed into dates so I'll now go up to format cells date change it to a date that I'll recognize and now what I need to do is to increase the size of these cells so that you can see the actual dates and there they are let me close this and so now what I've done is to say alright there's Tash 25th of November 1988 there's Lise 18th of May 1962 and so on now if I wanted to there is I could highlight that lot there and then go up and set them in alphabetically or no that'll do okay there's my set of names with their conditional formatting alphabetically remember you can only set up three different um, three different conditional formats okay that is time in Excel